Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal, here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading session, the 20th of October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so giving you an insight with regards to uh, the uh, markets this morning, what a reversal, folks. Okay, what a reversal. We had a sell-off on the Dow and the S&P, the NASDAQ. And the market literally has reversed everything and actually made new highs, which really is very, very impressive. The Nikkei certainly has reversed back all the losses as well. It's certainly right back at the previous resistance at double top. Hang Seng certainly has reversed. Shanghai is probably the only index that's certainly lackluster at present. So interesting scenario and interesting times at present. Okay, FTSE as well got right back higher too. In terms of Asian markets, equity news overnight. Again, the lackluster or weaker GDP number from uh, or from China, certainly having no concerns. Weaker G numbers from uh, from the likes of Japan, having no concerns. Catalonia, obviously, potential under independence there, again, having no concerns. Uh, the uncertainty regarding the next Fed chairman, again, is still there, but it certainly seems like Mr. Powell is certainly the favourite, and he's interpreted as being dovish, and therefore the equity markets triggered a powerful short squeeze overnight. So an interesting scenario there too as well. In terms of that. In terms of economic data, okay, today we've had producer prices out from Germany, certainly coming in stronger, therefore obviously increasing the chances of a uh, potential rate hike by the ECB and obviously uh, tapering of uh, QE as well. Okay, so we're looking forward to current account details with regards to Europe, your Canadian retail sales, CPI, again, that'll be quite a uh, volatile uh, session. And then in the uh, US, we have existing home sales, we have uh, FOMC, Mester speech as well. So those are the areas that we're certainly focusing on there. In terms of Asian markets overnight, we've had a reversal in the um, in Hang Seng up back up 1% after selling off more than 2% yesterday. Uh, the Nikkei and uh, Shanghai basically more or less flat. Okay, so looking at the uh, stats for uh, the UK, let's start by looking at the, um, the German DAX first of all. Okay, so German DAX, let's just quickly go to a daily chart. Yesterday we got quite a substantial sell-off. We we'll dip right back below the breakout level at the moment. We're in that FIB 75% on the 60-minute chart. I was forecasting a potential HNS top, but that hasn't been the case now. Looks like game over. It's uh, given the fact that unless we take out the previous resistance, I mean, at the moment, you still are looking at weakness. Okay, you do have quite an impressive gap high if you look at a 10-minute chart. You can see the gap higher here, folks. Okay, so yesterday pivot low. We had a pivot low at uh, 12,925, and obviously the market certainly has got right back higher again. So, interesting scenario to say the least. That's basically uh, a very, very interesting scenario. So, that's basically where we stand there, okay, uh, in terms of the market. Okay, so that's the status quo. Okay, with regards to the German DAX, so looking for gap fill below 12,990. In terms of the French CAC, let's look at the French CAC again. This is an index that I'm short now. 60 minute, you can certainly see a double top pattern there. Yesterday's chart, obviously, we saw lock wise prolifically. And the 10 minute chart, from my perspective, certainly looking to potentially close the gap down at 5365. So, certainly looking for weakness there. Okay, with regards to the French CAC. In terms of FTSE 100, very, very impressive. We keep knocking on that door at 7565. I think that's a bit of a high this morning, 7565. Very, very impressive. 60 minute chart certainly putting in a topping tail was looking for a lower high uh, this is the part that i was expecting yesterday's bear flag to play out and that hasn't been the case of we've obviously as you can see we've certainly short squeezed higher quite powerfully okay so markets certainly defying uh defying everyone okay and certainly continue to power higher okay so in terms of the 10 minute chart you could clearly see we found resistance here in this region around the 7560 also with the Dow as well, the Dow and the FTSE certainly are quite intertwined. Uh, again, keep an eye on the Dow in terms of FTSE 100 for, for guidance. Just give you an insight here with regards to the Dow pushing to new highs. Here we go. Dow Jones Industrial Average, you can see here, broke past that 2160. We certainly got lower. Well, that gap certainly was short-lived and then the market certainly pushed higher. Uh, and obviously close the gap at 23,155. At the moment, the uh, the actual uh, Dow is currently trading at 23,250. So up on more than 100 points since that pivot, pivot low. So 
Unbelievable, unbelievable move overnight. Unbelievable. Okay, that's quite impressive, that especially with yesterday's sell off. Okay, so FTSE 100 certainly looking for weakness back down to the retest the breakout at 7525. Let's see if we can get back down there. Okay, in terms of Euro stocks. Okay, so this is the HS formation I was expecting a, a lower high, uh, holding fib resistance as well. That's basically my expectations here with regards to this uh, account at the moment. Certainly looking for weakness, 10 minute chart as well. Certainly looking like we've put in a top for now. Okay, looking for gap fill below. There we go at 3600, so at 3602. So certainly looking for gap fill. Okay, folks, so uh, again, uh, strength this morning on the back of uh, Mr. Powell potentially being the leading, leading contender. Uh, and it certainly is uh, triggering a potential short squeeze in US equities overnight with a down making a new high. Interesting, interesting times, very, very interesting times. These equity markets just don't want to go lower regardless of what the fundamental concerns are. It's totally irrelevant. It's all about central bank QE and that's what's leading this market high. Okay, so I think that's a good summation in regards to European markets. Be sure to visit uh, cfds.com to trade. Take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.